Hello, I'm Dr. John McDonald. I'm a registered acupuncturist. I'm not a registered medical practitioner. I have a doctor of philosophy in the immunological effects of acupuncture in allergic rhinitis. I first started encountering magnets uh, more than 20 years ago, and these were quadrupolar magnets designed by Dr. Robert Holcomb from the US. Uh, I used them quite extensively for home use and found them very effective. Uh, I continue to use those same magnets from way back when. Uh, I'm still using them on a regular basis. I have an old back injury, low back uh, spinal fracture of a, a lumbar vertebra from an old motorcycle accident when I was in my teens. So uh, I still frequently do get low back pain and I find that, that uh, uh, the, the magnetic back belt is, is most effective. I've also been involved over the years using uh, magnets on acupuncture points for the treatment of incontinence in a particular project I was involved with and found that very effective. So it's uh, acupuncture points obviously respond to multiple stimuli, to mechanical stimuli, pressure, needling, to thermal stimuli such as moxa, uh, to chemical stimuli, and also electrical uh, and magnetic stimuli. And so it simply made sense to me as an acupuncturist that uh, one of the best place to place magnets would be on acupuncture points. So of course in acupuncture we don't just use channel points, we use ashura points, points which are tender on pressure where the muscle's tight. Uh, we use uh, non-channel points which have been particularly listed and given names like yin tang. Uh, but uh, we have a variety of ways of selecting points and in more modern times we can also uh, do acupuncture on trigger points, motor points and other points that have a, a more anatomical and muscular physiology basis. Uh, magnets have been used principally to date on an anatomical basis but as an acupuncturist it makes just as much sense if not more so to place a magnet say on large intestine 4 uh, for a, a dental extraction pain that I had not too long ago as it would to place it locally over the area where the extraction has taken place. And so it's clear that magnets locally uh, have action, uh, have influence on action potentials of nerves, but it also makes sense to me as an acupuncturist that uh, magnetic influence on acupuncture points is likely to have a, a stimulation that will produce some of the effects that are going to be fairly similar to those of needling. Now in China, as we're all aware, it's standard to treat daily and certainly the research in China is based on daily treatments and that's one of the reasons why in the West researchers have not always produced the same results because they've been treating weekly, fortnightly uh, and it just isn't the same as daily treatment. Now daily treatment in Australia is not really viable, it's not feasible and we're unlikely to see that happening here anytime soon. So the, our challenge is how to get the effect from the treatment to last from one needling session to the other and it's my belief that magnets may be the answer to this problem that by uh, placing magnets on relevant points in between treatments we can sustain the effect and hence get better results in our clinics and so uh, to this end we're doing a series of, of workshops shortly which I'm hoping that you might be able to join us for. Now one of the differences between uh, bipolar magnets, which are probably the ones with which most people are familiar, is the shape of the magnetic field. So this viewer is actually iron filing suspended in oil and so you can see that's what a, a bipolar magnet looks like in its field and so it just has a, a single plane there where the, the fields interact. Uh, however, when you compare that to a quadrupolar magnet, you can see very clearly there that you've got four magnetic fields interacting with each other and it's the lines where those fields interact that you have the most significant uh, effect. Then we also have our hexapoles where we have an interaction between six magnetic fields and also this has been developed recently in Queensland and we have an octopolar array and so we can see there's a variety of different styles of magnet but certainly 
the quadrupolar magnets, in my experience, have been far more effective uh, than what you can produce with a bipolar magnet on an acupuncture point. So we have a great deal of evidence for the effectiveness of acupuncture. We now have over 8,000 randomised control trials on acupuncture. And we don't have nearly that amount of evidence yet on magnets. However, it makes sense that since we know that a magnetic field can influence an acupuncture point because acupuncture points respond to electrical and magnetic stimuli, that we can produce uh, better results by sustaining a treatment effect in between treatments. And patients can uh, use magnets for home use to supplement what we're doing in the clinic. And that means everybody benefits. So I'm hope hoping that you can join me for an acupuncturist view of the potential of magnets in our upcoming workshops. Thank you.